Oh, sounds like a fart when I move the chair up. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Uh, just got another quick little unboxing here. Um, pretty cool. Didn't think I'd ever order one of these, but I did. So, let's see here. I'm going to open this with the right one. My beater. So. Well, I'd say that I need to probably strop that, I think. I think I've been using that one a little bit too much there. What do we got here? So I did order this from s &R Knives. Let's see what we got. Rip her open, might as well. Confidence in hand. So, we have CRKD, confidence in hand. Uh, not always confidence in hand in my case with CRKT, but... <laughs> Um, you know, they do make some nice knives and stuff like that, but they skimp on the materials a lot, you know, and their quality control isn't the best. But I'm really excited about this one just because I love the, I love, love the designer of this knife. So I, I had to pick one up. I never actually thought that I would get a knife like this. I mean, okay, I do like neck knives, just not ones this small. But like this, this, this one's cool, you know, this one's, I like it because I love HP Lovecraft. So let's see, you know what, for what people are saying, the ergonomics on this is really nice. Like someone would have a really hard time pulling this knife from your hands in a defensive situation, but I wouldn't recommend using this in a defensive situation. So but that being said this one has a little bit of an upgraded steel beautiful design chulu i always mess that name up but yeah it's actually really nice you know i i might get another minimalist i think but i, I basically just bought it because of the designer i have another one of his knives coming on the way soon that we will review um you know like as for neck knives, this one's really small. Um, I normally wear this one, which is the Thunderstrike by CRKT, right? Or I modified this boot knife here, put some paracord on it. Big deal, not much of a mod, but uh, this is the Kershaw Secret Agent. And I've kind of been, uh, it came with one side dagger, but I've kind of been sharpening both sides to get it nice and puncture. But um, yeah, size comparison for the two neck knives that I normally carry. Um, so this one's quite a bit smaller, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So let's do a couple size comparisons with a couple smaller, well-known knives. I mean. Let's see, we'll put this one here just because this isn't smaller, but obviously this is next to the Rat 1. This is next to the Kershaw Shuffle, so pretty, pretty close in size. Um, the handle on the, uh, the Minimalist is better, but the, the belly on the Shuffle is much better. You get a lot more cutting power. There's a finger choil, which actually is deep enough and, you know, round out enough where I'm not going to slice myself up, which a lot of knives do. Next, we'll compare it next to this Kershaw Tickfaw. And I bought this because I love Duck Commander. This is the Duck Commander series. I love Uncle Sai so much. So as I can see, pretty size comparable. And then for last one. Um, lots of people know this one, the Malia. So pretty close in size. Um, the minimalist is the smallest of the bunch, but I just love it. Like I, I, I love the designer, Alan. He makes amazing stuff. I've got another one of his knives, um, on the way. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. Um, I should have more unboxings coming for you guys pretty soon. 
and it's getting nicer out and uh, hopefully I'm going to be putting out a lot more outdoor videos. I'm looking into getting a GoPro with a chest mount so I can do, because it's really hard to do the outdoor stuff um, just holding your phone, you know what I mean? Like it, it's not safe either. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. This is the CRKT Minimalist Special Edition. Really cool. I, I was thinking of going with the green, but then I thought, you know what? I'm not much of a, a steampunk gear, gearhead kind of guy. I'm a reader. I like books, and I've always loved H.P. Lovecraft. You can see I get three-finger grip on this. With the four, the lanyard does give you a little bit. You can do a two-finger, and then the rest of the two on the back. So you can get a little bit of extra length but not much but i gotta say the ergonomics they feel really really nice i've seen people on youtube doing batoning with this and all this kind of crazy shit i'm not going to do any stuff like that with this knife uh that's not what this this knife is made for I, I see people batoning with um you know knife any kind of knife really like just especially liner locks like you don't baton with a freaking liner lock you use a fixed blade and I know some people think I actually watched a video of some girl um, batoning with one of these and it was hilarious she did like a huge two by four cured lumber okay and it was literally like I was just dying man I was I laughed for freaking like an hour and a half straight so anyways no batoning going on with this knife no hard use this is just a beautiful piece to add to the collection and that's pretty much it guys i just want to say thanks for watching um i hope you guys like my new little backdrop and everything um trying to make my videos a little bit more nicer um eye-catching uh hopefully so people won't you know scroll through them or whatever just to get to what i'm actually showing and stuff like that i like people see if they can you know listen right till the end or whatnot uh big shout out to um Bunch of friends, Newfoundland Knife Guy, Big Red EDC, Zach Stuff, Matt Pearson, Michael Morgan, Crispy EDC, Hewitt Custom Miller, um, Sword Canada, Puma, just all these awesome guys, um, you know, who are always supporting my channel and watching the videos and stuff. Also, I want to shout out to uh, At Therapeutic Edge and um, Women Carry Knives, Christine. And John at Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. All you guys who I mentioned are awesome. Have given me the confidence to to do things like this. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that just goes on video all the time and stuff like that. So it's a little bit awkward for me. But I like showing what I get. You know what I mean? Like it's it's, it's fun. It's fun. Um, the YouTube game is it's just something to do on the side. You know? It's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So, anyways, that being said, guys, hope you guys have a good day. CRKT Minimalist, uh, beautiful knife. Put the links in the description, and have a good day. Peace.